Look at reality, man. Look at Destiny's Twitter account. Look at the replies from the conservatives. They're barely people. Look at them. They this is a story of boy meets girl, but you should know up front, this is not a love story. What's going on, guys? I wanted to talk about the YouTubers Destiny as well as Vosh. You see, apparently Vosh came out and defended Destiny. That's because that's Vosh is nasty. Vosh is one of the nastiest YouTubers I've seen in quite some time. And I'm not even just talking about the horse stuff or the other stuff, the Lala, the Lala stuff. We're we going to keep that right there. Maybe for another video, we'll, we'll talk about that. But just overall, the way he delivers his opinions in such this harsh, smug way, as if he's like the most intelligent person on earth and everyone's beneath him. And I, I'm here to tell you that he's he's a buffoon. He's a straight buffoon. This dude is a nincompoop, right? But he sits there and he's able to act a certain way and appeal to a certain crowd. And people just believe everything this fool says. Like, I, I do not understand it. Vosh ain't no valid source of information. <laughs> it's a, it a va Vosh. You getting your info from Vosh, even if it's just political, you getting any info from Vosh is nuts. That's crazy. And I would like to say that I hate to say this, <laughs> but I don't. I like exposing Wokies that just come on here and grift. He's one of the biggest grifters I've ever seen out here. And of course, he's going to go out and defend another grifter by the name of Destiny, another woke Grifter, he's going to go out and, oh no, not my boo-boo. Now, I know that they've actually had some beef back in the day. I think that was all for entertainment. He even refuses to debate Destiny, says that he doesn't want to give him any clout. I definitely think that's all for performance because look, when it goes down to it, they got each other's back. If you disagree with me on a number of subjects from a liberal perspective, I think that there is a reasonable disagreement that you can have. Theoretically, there are plenty of liberals who just act in the same sneering bad faith as any conservative, but it's possible with a conservative. If you meaningfully disagree with me from that perspective, you are uh, either dishonest to the point that you're not worth the time or subhumanly stupid like you you your brain has to be flawed to buy into these premises you have to be weak you can sit and you can listen but genuinely like i think vosh is tripping destiny was 100 percent out of pocket he was wrong right in my personal opinion i thought that he went overboard he was nasty as heck Right. It, it was not necessary to say something as disgusting as that. Right. And trying to compare it of, well, the right always gets to say it. that's not right. That's foul as come on. It's not a monolith. Right. Like making it on some what about ism type of flow just because, you know, you foul, you know, you nasty. If what about ism is your defense, then you don't have a defense. You just doing stuff at this point. You don't have a defense. You just nasty. Right? And I think that's foul. But of course, Vosh, he's a big, you know, YouTuber. You got Destiny as another big YouTuber. Wokies Unite. And no one wants to say nothing about it. Right? Not to the degree of what should be mentioned. If it was someone on the right who said something like what Destiny said, oh, it'll be over. <laughs> It'd be straight over, fam. Look at reality, man. Look at Destiny's Twitter account. Look at the replies from the conservatives. They're barely people. Look at them. They don't give it. They're literally all of them. You're a short. You're a cuck. You're a short. You're a cuck. You're lost. Da, da, da. They don't care. They don't care. They're beyond information. They're beyond truth. Now, what you what you want, you think is that it's good content, and it is for some people. But I don't find it satisfying. Yeah, Juzor, I, I literally saw that. I watched, I skipped through parts of it, but I watched some portion of the debate Destiny had with that person who was maybe Elon, maybe not Elon. The moment Destiny left, all the people in the call just started circle jerking 
with the exact same arguments that Destiny had spent two hours tearing into. It's it's completely meaningless. It's empty. It's dead content. There was a period of time during which the circumstances, the material conditions, et cetera, et cetera, whatever jargon you want to use, made it possible for debates to be like a medium of effective direct engagement. That's not a permanent thing, man. It doesn't have to be like that forever. Uh, we're, we're not like a, a mollusks clinging to a ship that's floating listless in a dead sea. We can do what we want. I'm free. I don't have to debase myself by talking to repeating arguments that a first grader should understand for two hours straight, only to leave and for all of them to all go, yeah, we won that one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In a way that indicates they clearly didn't understand a word that I said. Complete waste of time. Frankly, I don't like Jeff, uh, and, and I, I will say this with with no irony, no, no, uh, uh, like not a backhanded compliment at all. I genuinely don't know how destiny does it. The tolerance for engaging with people on that level, that stupid, that consistently for that long uh, it, it, it's like a blow to the ego that I couldn't endure. Maybe he probably doesn't feel that way. You know, he goes back to his chat as I would were I in his place and we would talk about how stupid they were. But for me, that's not enough. I think that this whole destiny thing is shown his true colors. It was like a light, right? A lot of people, they think because he goes against people on the left all the time, right? That he's like some neutral party and he's not as clear as day. When he does that, that's just for entertainment. It's just for clout. I don't think Destiny even have any real true opinions besides disgustingness. Besides him just being foul. That, that's what I think Destiny, his heart is. He's just a toxic individual and Vosh shown his true colors by coming out here and defending this guy. But that's just my opinion. Tell me what yours is down in the comment section. Hey guys. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now, if you have some extra time, can you do me a favor? Check out my music. I rap, I sing, and I make beats. All of that should be linked in the description. Also, if you want to watch me live stream, you can check me out on BX Beast Boy Live. That's another YouTube channel. It should be linked to my homepage. And you can check me out on Twitch and Rumble. I'm streaming on all these platforms, man. Trying to just get out there. Also, if you want to support me, you can sign up for my memberships on my channel, as well as my Patreon for as low as $1. You get exclusive access to a bunch of videos early before you even get it on YouTube, as well as videos that's not ever going to be on YouTube. Stuff that actually got me suspended and banned. It's, it's kind of my anti-cancel culture fun for BX Beast Boy. You know what I mean? And it also helps me get resources for certain video essays and things of that nature. Check that out. If you're able to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram and join my discord. If you are able to, man, the link should be somewhere within my description or somewhere on my channel. I would really love to see you there, man. That's where you get a chance to talk to me and the rest of my supporters, man. I appreciate you guys. Bang gang out.